Summer camp, it is going strong out there in a lot of places, and head lice could be the pest that your kids, unfortunately, bring home. Dr. Selena Moore from West Boca Medical Center is here with treatment plans. Yeah, this is a big one. It How is. often should kids be washing their hair? Well, it depends on the type of hair. Okay. So, usually when you hear about the outbreak of lice and you start looking for it, the itching starts later on. So it takes a little bit of time for the scalp like to start fester. itching. Ah, yes. The pool or the ocean, does that count? Nope. Lice do not fly, they don't jump, they don't hop, they crawl. Okay. So there's a really big misconception that a lot of parents and uh, teachers have about lice is that they magically appear on someone else's head. But you have to have very close head-to-head -head contact. Sharing of hats, brushes, bandanas, barrettes, that kind of stuff. Well, speaking of that, uh, you know, a lot of kids pose for selfies and they put their heads together. Just yeah. something as simple. Yes, and they one allows to crawl from one head to the other. Wow, yeah. wow. Um, you mentioned different forms of hair. There's a common misconception maybe that minorities can't get lice. All types of hair? All types of hair can get lice. The cleaner the hair, actually, the more the lice like it. Really? Yes. Oh, my so goodness. So lice has nothing to do with being hygienic or non-hygienic. And that's a misconception, too. Yes. Sharing phones. I mean, the, that phone could be close. Is that teens share phones? I'm maybe, guessing maybe, maybe reaching. Maybe not. It's more of uh, a fabric okay. and, and hair products. Got it. Use. Let's go to treatment. What's yes. the best way to treat it? So the best way to treat it is using something that will kill the louse. It's very difficult to kill the knit. The knit is the egg. So it's hard to kill the knit. The louse um, you can kill with most over-the-counter products such as RID or NYX. Mm -hmm. But you have to then do what we call nitpicking. So after you, <laughs> you have to follow the directions of the bottle because yeah. different brands have different um, instructions. And then you have to go through with a fine-tooth metal comb and pick out all the nits. And then repeat again oh in about goodness. nine days because that's the life cycle of the what? louse. It takes about uh, nine days for the process. nits to hatch. Wow. All right. So if you see your kids walking around the house, maybe coming home from summer camp and they're scratching their heads a lot, yes. be sure to check for it. Yes. And the itchiness can last well after the lice are dead. So if the child continues itching, doesn't mean that they've been reinfested. Just check the hair for nits. It takes a while. Yeah. All right. Dr. Selena Moore. Thanks.